An Introduction to League of Legends for New Players and Coaches There are five basic roles in League of Legends. Top, Jungle, Mid, ADC or Bottom Lane, and Support. The top and mid lane players play in a solo lane, meaning they are by themselves most of the time in the laning phase of the game. The top player goes to the top lane, and the mid player goes to the middle lane. Top tends to be an island in the game all on its own. Mid lane is usually busy because players roam through it more often. The jungle player takes Smite as a summoner spell and roams the jungle, killing camps, killing jungle objectives like the Rift Herald and Dragon, and coming out and ganking or attacking players in the lanes. The jungle player is typically the only person who takes Smite on a team. The ADC or bot lane player and the support player work together as a team in the bottom lane. The support will buy a support starting item and will generally not CS or kill minions. The ADC wants to get all of the kills on minions in the bot lane. Note, some support items require the support to occasionally get a creep kill, generally a cannon, and the gold is also sent to the ADC. Character Select Screen Options On the Character Select screen, you have a variety of options. You can choose your champion. In the top left corner, you can choose to sort the champions by their common roles. You can sort by top, jungle, mid, bot or ADC, or support. Note, just because a character doesn't show up when you sort by a certain role, it doesn't mean it can't be played there. It simply means that it isn't common for it to be played there. At the bottom in the middle of your screen, you can choose your rune setup. There are a few default pages that can't be changed. You can also create a custom page of runes. Runes don't show up and can't be customized until your account is a high enough level. Next to the rune selection, you can choose your summoner spells. At first, you don't have all of the summoner spells, but as you level, you will gain more. By level 10, you will have all of the summoner spells. Different lanes and champions take different summoner spells. Almost everyone takes flash once you get it. Junglers must take smite. Other laners take different spells based upon the champion they're playing, the lanes that they are playing in, and what champion their opponent is playing. Summoner's Rift. Once you load into Summoner's Rift, you can see your champion's stats by clicking on the little green helmet icon in the corner. You can see your rune stats by clicking on the blue symbol next to it. When you first load into the Summoner's Rift, the game map, you should buy your starter items in the shop. You can open the shop by clicking on the vendor or by clicking on your gold. Different characters buy different starter items. There is a recommended tab in the item shop that shows you commonly built items for your champion. You are not forced to buy just these items though. You can select items from the All Items tab, and you can then sort the items by the stats that they give. In general, the recommended items are the ones you want to build. Experience. You need to maintain a fairly close distance to the minions to get experience from them when they die. If you are pushed too far away from the minions by the enemy, you will not get experience from them and your opponent will gain an experience advantage over you. Gold. By default, you will gain some gold over time in Summoner's Rift. If you get the last hit on a minion, you will gain more. Last hitting minions increases your CS or creep score. You want to maintain as high a CS per minute ratio as you can while still engaging the enemy and taking other objectives. More gold equals more items, and more items equals more power. Tower Plates For the first 14 minutes of the game, the towers have plates on them. Do enough damage to a tower, and you can knock off a plate. Each plate is worth 120 gold. The Laning Phase During the laning phase, the top, mid, and bot lane players all typically stay in their primary lane and work on CSing minions. They can and should roam occasionally to help take objectives or support in a fight. 
The laning phase typically lasts about 15 minutes. However, there is no set end time to laning. Sometimes it ends because one team simply decides to all group up and push a lane. Sometimes it ends because all of the towers in a lane are taken. Eventually the laning phase will end and people will roam between the lanes, clearing minions and working towards objectives like the Dragons, Rift Herald, or the Baron. Once the laning phase is over, group up and push or defend as necessary. Some compositions are based around split pushing, with one person in an off lane and the other four grouped up. Some compositions are based on going with a 1-3-1 split, with two split pushers and three in the mid lane. Some comps are simply based around a five person team fight and everyone groups in one lane to push. Typically your ADC and support will be in the mid lane once the laning phase is over. Jungle play. The jungler takes smite, which allows them to buy the starter items for the jungle. Smite is an instant damage ability against creatures that also heals the jungler when used. Once the jungle item has been upgraded to a certain level, Smite can be used against players on the enemy team as well. During all phases of the game, the jungler is roaming the jungle, looking to set up vision with wards, clear vision with the oracle lens, kill jungle objectives like the Rift Herald or Dragon, or gank in lanes and help to take towers. The jungle is a very active role and can have a huge impact on the course of the game. Normally a jungler will stay on their side of the map, right or left, but occasionally in high level play, the jungle will be split with one jungler staying on the top and the other staying on the bottom. Junglers should pay attention to their camp timers, and if a camp is supposed to be up but isn't, their jungle has been invaded by the enemy jungler. The jungler needs to constantly watch where the enemy laners are and figure out when they should gank or attack a lane to help their team get a kill on the enemy team. One of the best times to gank is when the enemy is pushed up to one of your team's towers and you can come out behind them and pincer them between you and your laners. The jungle is home to several important useful creatures. There are two creatures, the red brambleback and the blue sentinel. The red one gives a buff, the crest of cinders, that increases life regen, auto attacks slow the target, and the enemy will take a bit of burn damage over time. The blue one gives you percentage mana regeneration, cooldown reduction, and bonus ability power. Objectives. The primary objectives to take are the towers that protect the base, the inhibitor crystals, and the main nexus crystal itself. The next major objective is the Baron. The Baron gives you a powerful buff that you spread to your team's minions. The Baron buff is extremely useful in taking towers and pushing into the enemy base. The Baron spawns after 20 minutes in an alcove in the top side of the jungle alongside the river. It shares a spawn location with the Rift Herald. The next major objectives are the dragons. Each gives a different permanent buff. The fourth dragon killed by your team will give you the dragon soul, which gives a strong buff. The dragons spawn in the bottom side of the jungle in an alcove along the river. After two dragons die, a third dragon will spawn, and all normal dragons will be of that type until someone secures the dragon soul and causes the elder dragon to start spawning. Getting the Dragon Soul is extremely helpful and preventing the other team from getting it is also very helpful. The Rift Herald. The Rift Herald spawns in the top side of the jungle in an alcove. It shares a spawn location with the Baron. The Rift Herald is useful in taking down towers. When you kill it, an item will appear that it can allow the person who picks it up to summon the Herald again. When summoned, the Rift Herald will wander to the nearest lane and charge an enemy turret. The charge does a huge amount of damage. If the turret dies, it will move forward and charge the next turret.
The Rift Scuttler, the Scuttle Crab. The Rift Scuttler provides vision and movement speed in the river for a brief amount of time. The Red and Blue buffs give temporary buffs for whoever kills them. Normally your jungle will take them early in the game and after the laning phase is over. The person who benefits most will typically take them, if possible. Laning Basics During the laning phase, the top, mid, and ADC focus on last hitting minions to get gold. When possible, laners will engage with the enemy laner and trade a few blows. If possible, laners should try to get kills on an enemy player. Players need to stay within a fairly short distance of minions getting killed in order to get XP and level up. If a player gets the last hit on the minion, that player gains additional gold. Last hitting is a critical skill for laners. Be careful of overextending in the lane because the enemy jungle can come up behind you out of the river and gank you. As a support, you will want to avoid last hitting minions unless you have a charge on your support item and can share the gold with your ADC from your kill. Only certain support items give gold for minion kills. Some support items give gold for landing auto attacks and spells on enemy laners. Once you gain enough gold for your support item, it will upgrade and you will be able to cast wards for vision from your support item. When this happens, upgrade your normal ward to an oracle lens and use it to clear out enemy wards. The ADC and support work in tandem during the laning phase. Vision. Vision is critical in the game. Dropping wards and clearing out enemy wards are critical in securing a win. All players are responsible for warding and clearing wards. The support player will be able to drop more wards than other players once their support item quest is completed. The jungler should clear wards as often as possible as they roam through the jungle. Roaming. Roaming is important as well. Roaming to capture objectives and back up a teammate in a fight are critical. Every role can roam, but it's a key part to being a mid laner. Top lane can roam, but oftentimes they will need to commit their teleport or TP. The minimap. minimap. Watching the minimap is vital. Knowing where the enemy players are allows you to react to what they are planning to do. Having good vision from wards allows you to have more information displayed upon your minimap. Wards come in three colors. The normal ward is invisible and provides vision for a limited amount of time. Pink wards or red wards cost 75 gold, but provide vision until they are killed and they block other vision. Blue wards die in one hit, but can be placed very far away. Squishy champions should be the only ones to take these. Stats. There are many different stats in League of Legends. Here are some of the ones you need to know. Health, hit points, the amount of hit points you have, the amount of damage you can take before you die. Mana, energy, or rage. These are resources that can be used to cast abilities. Some champions have them, some champions don't. Experience. A resource gained from minions and other things dying which, after you reach a certain amount, you will level up. Attack damage, AD. This increases physical damage and auto attack damage. Ability power, AP. Increases magic damage and some abilities damage. Armor, reduces physical damage taken from AD. Magic resist, MR. Reduces damage from magic attacks, AP based attacks. Attack speed increases the rate of auto attacks. Cooldown reduction, CDR, decreases the cooldown of abilities. It caps at 40% or with runes 45%. This cap does not include the ultimate reduction from Cloud Drake or Cloud Drake Soul. Critical strike chance, increases the chance of critical strike on an auto attack, which does increased damage. Movement speed, Increases the movement speed of a champion. Lethality. Decreases the armor directly. 10 lethality equals 10 less armor. Can lead to true damage if it decreases the amount of armor completely. This is very effective against non-tanky champions. Armor penetration. Decreases the percentage of enemy armor. You only want to build this if the enemy team comp as a whole is relatively tanky. 
Magic Penetration. Decreases a percentage of the enemy magic resistance. Grievous Wounds. Decreases healing on afflicted target. Items. If you're playing a tank champion, you want to focus on building items which give armor, magic resistance, and health. If the primary damage of an enemy team is magic, build MR. If the primary damage of an enemy team is physical, build armor. Typically it's mixed, so you typically want to build both. If you're playing a bruiser, you want to focus on building a mixture of health, damage, armor, and magic resistance. You might want to focus on items that give both health and damage, usually physical damage. If you're playing a mage, you want to focus on building AP damage items. You might want to focus on building a mixture of the items that only give magic damage and the items that give defensive stats, health, armor, or MR, or CDR, cooldown reduction. If you're playing an assassin, you want to either build items that give a large amount of AP or lethality. You want to focus your build to be able to one-shot an enemy before the enemy team can retaliate. If you're playing the ADC or Marksman, the damage dealer in the bot lane, you want to focus on building items that give attack speed, attack damage, and critical strike chance. If you're playing an enchanter support, you want to focus on items which increase shield strength, mana regen, and movement speed. If you're playing a tank support, you want to focus on building items which increase defensive stats, allow you to engage more easily, and allow you to keep your team alive. Runes. Runes provide a variety of boosts to your champion. You can customize them before the game starts. One thing that I suggest new players do is look on the internet for builds for certain champions so that you know what items to build and what runes to take depending upon the situation and role that you are playing. Good luck and enjoy League of Legends.